Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Jeff Borkin. This is going to be a preview to one of the special games this year for our Philadelphia Flyers, as it's Claude Giroux's 1,000th. You can see him on that poster behind me, the Philly Fans Rock poster that has the great, uh, some of the old school greats for us with Simmons, Voracek, even Mark Strait was a good veteran defenseman, and I was born in 96. Mace was one of the best goalies in my life uh, until Carter Hart finally uh, came along for the Philadelphia Flyers. But when it comes to the lines, Jamie Baskow reported that they are going to sub in Max Willman tonight. And then he also said scouts in attendance for tonight's Flyers game um, in, from our very own Connor uh, Doherty, uh, who is uh, reporting it for Flyers in the Green. And I'm going to be down there as a fan. Eric Lindros should be in attendance also, by the way, but the scouts are the Lightning, two scouts, the Stars. The Blackhawks, Rangers, Kraken, Panthers, Sabres, Bruins, Wild, and Leafs. So that's 10 different teams' scouts, and then two from Tampa Bay. So 10 different team stout, scouts excuse me, are coming today. Some not all just to watch Giroud. Giroud. Justin Braun is obviously a trade deadline commodity. Martin Jones is not in the lineup tonight, but that's why we put him in the lineup a couple times in the last couple weeks because he's a trade deadline commodity. There's other guys on the team that might not be in our heads as guys the team might move on from. Like, for example, after seeing what they got for Kelly Yon, Croak, Seattle, maybe the Flyers would move on from Scott Lawton since they're in this retool phase and try to get all the assets they were able to get. But who knows? Either way, those are the scouts that are there tonight. And Carter Hart will be tending the twine tonight. Jamie Baskow also reported these are the lines. Again, Hart, Braun is going to be with Yandel to try to get Yandel to be the best he can be. Sanheim is going to be with Aristo, obviously. And then York is going to stay on his offside, but be with Ivan Provorov. Then you got Wilman, Brown, McEwen. You got Broussard in the center at second line, JV, or, at, or at the uh, third line, excuse me, with JVR and Atkinson on the side. We're going from uh, bottom to top. And then you got Lindblom, Hayes, Farabee. That's a solid line. Uh, Frost, Giroux, Konechny, which actually looks solid last game. So it'll be interesting to see if Morgan Frost is able to show more uh, spunk in the offensive zone. Even though it wasn't a winning effort, uh, he was able to do that in the OT loss to Montreal. I thought Morgan Frost showed some spunk in the offensive zone. And one of the big reasons they also lost an OT was bad coaching. What the hell is Keith Yandel, who's not quick anymore, not really that offensive anymore at this point because of just the pace he's at at the end of his career. I love the dude. A guy that's going to be fantastic on television. He's such a dude, funniest dude to ever play the damn game. One of the funniest guys. And one of the better offensive defensemen of my generation. But he's not that anymore. So he shouldn't be out there in overtime. So that was kind of a coaching mistake. But I thought Frost looked really good um, in that game setting up the offense. You have to put him with town because he's an offense first guy. The Flyers try to make too many guys something they ain't. Which is why everybody says they suck at developing. And Breer kind of even hinted at it when he came here. He said they had to be better at drafting and developing guys that they draft that actually have talent. So we'll see um, if he's going to be able to keep progressing that way. But the money, the money man tonight, the star of the game, even before the game, you never name stars before the game, but we're doing it tonight. That would be Claude Giroux, as it is his 1,000th game this evening. Uh, what Claude Giroux, or what for Flyers of Fan Mania 93, what Jake Vorchuk is to Chris. From Flyers Nitty Gritty, Flyers Fan Mania 93, is exactly who Claude Giroux is to me. Uh, I, I've, I remember where I was at when I watched his first game uh, at my friend's house, and we watched it there. And I mean, he's a guy that I just, from the beginning to end, watched his entire Flyers career. If this is going to end up being the end, and this ends up being his last game or second to last game as we do play tomorrow, or what have you. If they don't decide to scratch them, it's going to be interesting to see. But let's wrap up this video by saying, one, hopefully the Flyers can bring it their game tonight. Hopefully they can bring their fire to the ice. And they can actually show up for the captain's 1,000th game. Because wouldn't that be nice? I put Warriors on the ice um, linked on my story today. Um, and wouldn't that be nice? If they can do that, um, it would be nice if the Flyers can really step up for the captain tonight, really do a good job for the captain and really get it done tonight. But also in conclusion, Forsberg, Johansson, Duchesne, first line for Nashville, Tolvin and Gronlin, Cunning, Trennan, Sessions, Sissons, excuse me, not Sessions, uh, and Janot, Cousins, McCarron, and Tomasino. Then it's Yossi, Fabro, 
Ekholm carriers have a, a great season. Um, the good AHL defenseman his entire career, and then now is really burst on the scene at 25. Ben Harper and Philippe Myers, and then UC Soros and David Riddich, with Matt Luff being their scratch. So, I think this, obviously, when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to the Nashville Predators, they're a team this year, when it, when it comes to their offense, led by John Hines, it tries to push the offense more than in past years, and that's an interesting thing to see from the perspective of the Predators, uh, since that hasn't always been their goal. They've usually been a more defensive team, but because they wanted to get the most out of Shane, the most out of Johansson, which they've been able to do this year, they've been a team that pushed the offense a lot more, whereas right now, they're in first in the wild card above the Vegas Golden Knights, as the Vegas Golden Knights right behind, or right above, I should say, Dallas, Vancouver, and Winnipeg are starting to get into some trouble. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Hope to see some of y'all at the game tonight. Let's go Flyers. Let's get a big win for G. Peace out, everybody.